Okay, let's have you base camp. Yeah. Do a demo first and then we'll talk about fog. Okay. Okay, we'll try to get yeah. there. So let's see. Okay. The, I think personally, probably the most scary fall is the head butt, right? Together? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't, I've never seen, I mean, I personally never popped someone and they fell back away. It's because of the rotation. Mm -hmm. You're already throwing the legs back, mm -hmm. so they're going to fall forward with you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's why we do the progression for this one. It's the most okay. scary. First thing we'll do is um, pop the throne. And you guys are really good. I've seen your throne pop. They're like way high, right? So you know about this. Yeah. For me, the best pop is not right on the butt bone, but a little out here. Yep. I find that feels like the best balance. But what mm -hmm. works for you guys, okay? So really, and the toes aren't too far. They're right here. So that's key, right? So you can really pop off the toes. So we do those a few times to get that solid. After that, I would practice um, getting into walking to the final position and doing the squirrel pops that you've done before, right? Mm -hmm. It's getting that really nice. Okay. And not only are you learning the pop, you're learning the catch. Mm -hmm. It's about being absorbent enough where it doesn't feel so jarring, yeah. but not too much where you actually fit your head. Right. And the catch <laughs> is really key here. The catch is key here. If if you end up catching with, if she leans too forward and you catch with the shoulders first, it's yeah. gonna be a, mile, a lot of amount of weight on your hands. Um, you would rather catch with the hips first mm -hmm. and then the arms. Ideally, it'd be the exact same time, but that timing is hard to come by. You have to really do a lot of time. But I'll teach you ways to where, Zach, when you lean forward, uh, Andrew will catch you on the hips before the shoulders first, and then slowly get to where you're catching right at the same time. Yeah. Okay, so from there, I'm going to first practice the lunge, the leaning forward, which is the scary part. So I'll get, from, I'll get my flyer on the throne first. I'm just going to scoot my legs forward this time. I just have my fly lean forward to where I'm going to catch her. My feet hook. That far? Uh, yeah, lean forward. My feet slide hook there, okay? And I just do that a few times so you know that lunging feeling and, and, and learning to trust that Andrew will be able to catch you. It's key that you keep your arms outstretched. If they're any way not outstretched, it's going to be hard for them. They're really out wide and pike deep. The deeper the pike, the easier it is for him to catch. There, there's a hook right away. There's nowhere for your leg to fall off. So deep pike and arms outstretched. So then from that progress, we will progress from throne and then we'll pop into it. So for me, the the key for this one is, Zach, if you if he's popping you and you're leaning forward right when the pop happens, you're going to lean too far forward. You need to pop up and then over. Okay. You have to start leaning over at your apex. If you start leaning right as this pop happens, you're going to come too far forward. So that's why we, we did this first, just coming up. And when you're up at your apex, and then you lean forward. So practice these first. So one, two, pop. Up straight forward, and then arms out straight and pike. But really get your vertical first before you lean forward. One, two, three. We'll do those first. Um, after that, I would do whale. These are really easy for you guys by now. Here, to throw, okay? Yeah. But do, after that, do from, um, just do whale, pop the throne, and then throw, and then do that. Okay. So cut it a All few right. steps. Just so you feel the feeling first, mm -hmm. of what it's like to go from here, sitting up, and then moving forward. And then the last bit is the last part. For me, how do you, how do you bring that together? Um, I'm not just popping her up to like thrown. I'm popping up the throne, but I'm throwing her feet back. Mm -hmm. um, so you have to gauge how far you throw it back. I throw it just enough to get her body rotating. Mm -hmm. But if you throw it too much, then she rotates too fast. Mm -hmm. So one thing, if you can't quite get that yet, pop up to throne here. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and sit up for you. And then um, maybe do maybe do like a, a, a foot to hand mm -hmm. just to get that connection with the feet. And then from there, go back to throne and then pop down. Okay. So add the foot to hand in the middle just so, Zach, you, you can feel like 
what it's like to be here and then having your feet thrown back, having that foot to hand connection. So building all those blocks together in order to build for the final thing. Okay. We can spot you guys yeah. for this too. Cool. Yeah.